Welcome to our mnemonic video on upper abdominal pain differential. Let's get started. This scene will take place at an arcade center. The arcade center is a popular hangout for local teenagers, and we can see that it's also a hangout for bullies. Here, a younger boy is being punched in the upper abdomen, and this should remind you of the focus of our story, which is upper abdominal pain. Now let's see what kind of games are available in this arcade center. Here we can see the first game, the speed punching bag. Looking at the punching bag itself, you'll notice that it looks like a heart with black marks due to excessive use. These black areas are deflated, not supported, and non-viable for punching anymore. Anyway, this idea here should remind you of ischemic areas in the heart that present with a spectrum of presentations collectively known as acute coronary syndrome. And this is a serious cause of upper abdominal pain. Therefore, it must be ruled out early and should always be considered, especially with high-risk patients like diabetics. An acute coronary syndrome is caused by a ruptured atheromatous plaque with partial or complete thrombosis of the supplying artery, which accounts for accompanying angina with upper abdominal pain being a less common presentation. Acute coronary syndrome results in variable findings on an EKG according to the extent of the coronary occlusion on the mural wall. To help you memorize the most common EKG findings, we'll bring some stools for the players here to use for resting. From left to right, a tall stool with a broad base represents ST segment elevation, and this is the hallmark of ST segment elevation myocardial infarction, or STEMI for short. Next, we can see a short stool with a broad base for ST segment depression, which is the hallmark of ST segment depression myocardial infarction, or non-STEMI for short. Finally, we can see an inverted stool for an inverted T wave, which is the earliest sign of myocardial infarction on an EKG. Now let's see the player who crushed this speed punching bag. It's this huge guy who's making fists and ready to crush the heart-shaped punching bag more. A huge guy making fists to crush sounds like Fitzhugh Curtis, a complication of pelvic inflammatory disease and another cause of upper abdominal pain. Pelvic inflammatory disease, or PID, is an infectious and inflammatory condition that affects the upper female reproductive tract. It results from an ascending infection, most commonly chlamydial infections and or Neisseria gonorrhea infections. The inflammation usually involves the uterus, fallopian tubes, and the adjacent pelvic structures, and can spread to the abdomen, causing inflammation of the liver capsule, leading to adhesions, which is known as Fitzhugh Curtis syndrome. These adhesions have a distinct appearance on laparoscopy described as violin strings. Now let's explore more games in this arcade. Here we can see a pinball machine, another classic arcade game. Let's take a closer look. Each pinball game has a pattern, but this one is different. It looks like a biliary tree with a ball stuck on the main track. The ball is obviously large and even pushing against the track wall, making it look like the track is contracted around it. This contraction around an obstructing stone represents biliary colic, which is another cause of upper abdominal pain. Biliary colic is an intermittent pain classically felt in the right upper quadrant, which is usually non-tender on physical examination. The pain is precipitated by fatty meals and can radiate to the right shoulder. Treatment is typically by surgical removal of the gallbladder. The ball lodged in the biliary tree design caused some anger to the player as expected. So let's see what he did afterward. In his anger, he hit the glass in an attempt to move the stuck ball, but the glass broke. In another attempt, he even used oil to try to dislodge the ball. The oil is yellow and looks like pus to remind you of infection, particularly biliary tract infection denoted by these cracks involving only the track of the pinball. The biliary tract infection is termed acute or ascending cholangitis and is a potential cause of upper abdominal pain. Biliary obstruction results in stasis of bile, which predisposes to bacterial growth and biliary cholangitis. Physical examination findings typically include jaundice and right upper quadrant tenderness. It can also reveal some of the classic constellations of symptoms like Charcot's triad, which consists of right upper quadrant pain, jaundice, and fever. And if accompanied by hypotension and altered mental status, the condition is termed Reynolds Pentad. All of these failed attempts made that player even more annoyed. But where did he go? It seems like he's bringing something to destroy this biliary pinball machine. We can tell by the terrified look on his friend's face. He's so scared and went breathless because of his friend's doings, which is about to bring them many troubles when the arcade owner finds out. Looking closely at our terrified friend, we can see that he brought a bag of yellow kernel popcorn to snack on while playing. These yellow kernels look like cholesterol gallstones, the most common form of gallstones. When they obstruct the cystic duct, inflammation of the gallbladder or cholecystitis ensues, which can cause upper abdominal pain. Cholecystitis pain is usually constant, accompanied by fever, nausea, and vomiting, with tenderness in the right upper quadrant. 
Our friend here is also holding the bag tightly against his right upper quadrant while being breathless to remind you of Murphy's sign. This is a classic sign of cholecystitis that's elicited by placing a hand below the patient's right costal margin while asking the patient to breathe in. A sudden cessation of breath denotes a positive Murphy sign. Now, where's the place owner? He's busy trying to light these candles to keep some light inside the place as the electric system got overwhelmed by all of the games, causing a power outage. Maybe that's why the ball got stuck in the pinball machine in the first place. Anyways, in his haste, the smoke from the candles is causing him to cough. And as the ventilating fans stop, no more fresh air is coming inside, so the place becomes hotter, making his body temperature rise. And now we can see him sweaty, much like a fever would do. This sweating, coughing man with a high body temperature should remind you of pneumonia, another cause of upper abdominal pain. It's believed that pneumonia can cause upper abdominal pain due to the accompanying pleuritis. As the place owner coughs, he accidentally hit a candle that fell over that pan toy the kid brought to play with. Now we see his frying pan toy that's oddly shaped like a pancreas caught fire. Pan sounds like the pancreas, and the fire should make you think of inflammation. So putting these ideas together should help you remember pancreatitis, which is another cause of upper abdominal pain. Pancreatitis presents with severe, sharp epigastric pain that radiates to the back. Serum lipase and liver function tests, along with ultrasonography, can be quick measurements to identify pancreatitis in acute settings. Initial management includes making the patient NPO and giving them IV fluids. It seems like not only the ventilating fans shutting down cause the place to get hotter, but also this fireplace here emitting lots of heat and smoke keeping the place warm, which became worse with the power outage. If we look closely, we can see the chimney of that fireplace is tall, pink bricked, much like an esophagus. This, along with the fire below, should remind you of GERD, another cause of upper abdominal pain, which is described classically as heartburn. We can see that the fireplace is releasing a lot of smoke, turning the pink bricks into black with soot. That should remind you of esophageal metaplasia that occurs in the setting of chronic GERD, known as Barrett's esophagus. GERD is treated with lifestyle modification, H2 blockers, and proton pump inhibitors. We've been here in this arcade for a while, but we didn't see any decoration. So let's see what the place owner has gotten here. In the corner next to the pinball, we can see a decorative marble tree. It's fall season here, so we can see the whirling helicopter seeds starting to fall to the floor, leaving a pile of seeds below. Helicopter seed pile sounds like Helicobacter pylori, the most common cause of peptic ulcer disease, another cause of upper abdominal pain. H. pylori can be detected by a urea breath test or fecal antigen test. Treatment consists of the triple therapy of proton pump inhibitors, clarithromycin, and amoxicillin. Another common cause of peptic ulcer disease is the use of long-term NSAIDs, which is managed by discontinuation of these drugs and starting the patient on PPIs. And with that, we've concluded all you need to know about the differential diagnosis for upper abdominal pain.